hello uh, hello guys i'm pratik today we'll discuss about canvas basics of it how basically canvas looks like how can frame actually is appears and then we'll also see some of the scenarios of can error handling and canvas of all those stuff so fine this is a picture uh, uh, how actually the canvas appears to be uh, before we go into detail I just have a brief history about it can was developed by boss in 1983 and then it was officially released in 1986 and it was basically developed for the automotive application and it stands for controller area network uh, then later on it has been adopted by a lot of embedded industries fine so here you see uh, a lot of can nodes uh connected to a central bus here you can see it in blue color uh, and the can has been terminated using some impedance or load uh, i think we will go into detail about that in my next video so basically can is a multi master broadcast uh Uh, transmission or reception protocol so basically any of this node can transmit and uh, all of other nodes can receive uh, and there is some concept uh, to decide who can transmit and who can receive and that is uh, called as arbitration before any nodes tries to uh, you know uh, transmit they have to win the arbitration and then they can go for further transmission uh, i'll just open another image uh, okay so hmm. here you see three can nodes are connected to a can bus can bus uh, has two uh, uh, okay basically can is uh, divided into two uh, parts can high can low and uh, then the you, as you see here can bus has been terminated using some impedance uh, of 120 ohm and if you see a typical can node has basically three parts one is can transceiver then can controller and microcontroller so the basic job of the can transceiver is to uh, uh, you know uh, take the signal level from the bus to the signal level of what uh, you know can controller is expecting and the microcontroller is something uh, it's your ecu you can consider similarly all the nodes have the same parts while can controller decides to which address and all the stuff right fine so this is a very basic uh, you know um, idea about can uh, we will look into uh, the can frame structure how it looks actually uh okay so this is the can frame uh before we proceed uh, you should know one thing that in can zero is considered as a dominant bit while one is considered as a recessive bit so here uh, the first bit is called as the start of frame sof which is dominant and then there is a can identifier which is message identifier each of uh, can and quotes with 11 bit identifier or 29 bit identifier in this case it is 11 bit identifier which is a standard frame uh, while we also have with 29 bit of identifier which is uh, again we call it as extended frame so this 11 bit of identifier uh, is actually uh, you know uh, encoded based on what kind of message it is or uh, uh, basically a uh, Uh, what is the functionality uh, it's not uh, that you uh, actually uh, you know uh, encode this particular uh, 11 bit or 29 bit with the name of the source ecu or the destination ecu so it's basically based on the message what kind of message you can transmit because any of the other node can receive it uh, fine so uh, then we have something called as rtr which is remote transmission request uh, which is uh, again a special feature of can 
pass whenever you want to uh, request some information from a specific node then you have to send something called as remote frame i think we should go for this into detail in some other lecture mm. now we have control field uh, which actually comprises of uh, r1 and r0 which is basically a dominant bit and these are uh, and then followed by the dlc which is data line counter which is of 8 bit and then we have the 8 data field which is of 8 byte this is the field which actually uh, consists your message what has to be transmitted so this is very important 0 to 8 bytes and dlc decides how many of you know, high, how many bytes of data fields are valid uh, for example uh, if i just want to send 6 bytes of data then i will set dlc to uh, DLC to a uh, value which is uh, which says 6 bytes so I have data field available only of 6 bytes for transmission then there is something called a CRC field which is uh, nothing but the for the checksum of what to perform the checksum uh, uh, over the data field then okay, that is uh, CRQ call it as uh, fine then after that we have something called as acknowledgement bit and then followed by that is end of frame uh we will look into much more detail of the message frame in my next slides uh but before that uh in this uh, in this particular lecture we are gonna have just a basic idea of it uh, fine um so the most important feature of the can bus is arbitration as i said it's a multi-master broadcast serial bus transmission uh, uh so uh, basically any node uh, can transmit on the can bus uh, so before uh, any node wants to you know take uh, the transmission opportunity they have to go through the arbitration so here is an example uh, we will try to understand how how exactly arbitration works fine so here you see there are three nodes and they are trying to transmit over canvas so this is the arbitration phase if you see here and here we consider that it's a 11 bit identifier 0 1 2 3 2 10 and now we see how actually it works so the start of frame is always zero for everything so no problem the bus level in the can bus is zero while when you see that 10 and 9 bit it is recessive that is 1 for all the nodes no problem plus level is 1 well we see 8 7 is again dominant for both the identifiers yes so the can but also replicates the same now if you see here and the fifth bit we see that node 1 and node 3 are having dominant bit while the node 2 is having recessive so this is a time where node 2 goes out of arbitration and it loses uh, so our opportunity or you can say it loses the arbitration or it loses, uh, loses the sorry loses the opportunity to transmit in the canvas so now the arbitration will be continued only by node 1 and node 3 so if you see here the by uh, bit 4 and 3 is again recessive for node 1 and 3 the same is replic replicated here in the bus level or in the can bus now again node 1 goes out of the arbitration because node 1 is recessive while node 3 is dominant means node 1 is having high that is 1 uh, and node 3 is having 0 so <clears throat> the bus level will be as per the dominant bit so the, the identifier what is actually uh, you know what is actually being possessed by node 3 is now available on the CAN bus so now we can say that node 3 wins the arbitration and it gets the opportunity to transmit its data so this is how the normal uh, can arbitration works and this is and this is based on csma cd call and sense multiple access with i'm sorry csma cd ca call and avoidance fine uh, and there is something error handling we'll have a brief look on the error handling of the can here how the error handling of the can works fine 
so we just consider any one node of the can to understand this particular feature uh, okay fine so there is something called as transmit error counter and rece receiver error counter every node will be always in an error active mode and it can go back it can go to error pass you or to bus off but by default in usually usually a can node has to be in error active so mode. this is the mode uh, which will be possessed by a can node whenever receive error count or the transmit error count is less than 127 means whenever the counter is less than 127 a node is said to be in error active and in this node uh, in this particular mode uh, a node can transmit receive it can do all what a can node is supposed to do while uh, if there is some uh, scenarios uh, you know uh, which causes the error counter to increment further beyond 127 that is uh, receive counter or the transmit counter goes more than 127 uh, then it goes to error passive and further increase beyond 127 leads to bus off in bus off the CAN node cannot participate even in arbitration it cannot receive it cannot transmit and only the reset by software or hardware or the configuration can uh, you know uh, finally uh, get a node back to error active so uh, this was all just a brief about CAN I'm sorry uh, fine uh, we will uh, we'll, we'll discuss each of this in detail in my next video. Uh, thanks till then and subscribe for more such videos.